October 18th, 2017. We are up super early, back from the bear hunt. Spent a couple days hanging out with the kids. I haven't seen them. They are off to school this morning. Great times. I was gonna take the boat out today, that was the big plan, but it seems like the weatherman says it's gonna blow gusts up to 50 miles an hour today, or 50 kilometers an hour, so rather than beat ourselves up in the boat, we're gonna go steelheading. We're going to a creek that I don't even know if there's any fish in yet, but we're up, we're going fishing. Hopefully, we can find some fish, and then we'll probably go deer hunting. We haven't been, I haven't been deer hunting in almost a week. We're at that tiny creek that we were talking about last week. The water is super low. It's not as bright out as it looks on camera, but we're here early. We're gonna hit some first light action. Let's get the rod and reel. Hopefully there's some fish in there. We're gonna find out here in a couple minutes though. It's go time. Creek one's a bust. There's some fish in there. I spent a good 20, five, 30 minutes. The problem is, is there, the river is actually lower than Lake Ontario, so there's no current going through there. <sighs> Forgot my leader line at home too, so we're gonna have to go try to find some leader line, and we'll try another creek. We'll just keep hopping along, see if we can't find some fish, but there's some fish in there. They're just really spooked. Even at first light when my line was going over them, they'd just spook off. I think there's only a couple feet of water in there and a handful of big, dirty Chinooks or some fresh steel. Tough morning of the river fishing. First two creeks I checked, the water's hardly moving. No steelheading. I stopped at the Ganny, my local river, but there was like 20 guys fishing and it's awfully rude on my behalf to just show up and bring a camera and start fishing. So, we're gonna shoot the ball. That's what I'm gonna do. Rather than be that guy, got some free time, let's use it to uh, practice. I don't know if that's as fun as catching steelhead, but the bow did a lot of traveling over the last week or so. I hadn't fired it since I was at bear camp, so getting home, getting some shots in before I go hunting is important. I don't want to have my sight bumped off and then put all this hard work into getting a big mature buck and when it comes in and miss. So good to get shoot the bow. I'm sure we'll get some steel heading in there at some point, but I just don't like being the guy who shows up with the camera when everybody else was there first. So home time, we're going deer hunting this afternoon. Man, is it ever bright out here. I picked the worst day to go steel heading. And the wind didn't come. That's the part that really gets to me. There's no wind. Weatherman, you're wrong again. I could have went out on the boat. Bit of an odd morning, no steel head. Wasn't that great. I thought the fishing would be way better. I should have went out on the boat. It's just an absolute beautiful day. It's really too warm for deer hunting, but that's where we're headed now. I got to do some running around, but we're headed on, we're making our way to the deer stand. We're going to change things up today. I'm going to walk in from a new point and hopefully we get some of those deer to show up. I don't know. Maybe they're seeing me on the way in or getting a scent of me. So we're going to try a new way in there. I am a little concerned that the deer actually have me patterned. We're going to change up two things. This camera, anybody's used a Canon 70D, it's extremely loud. The shutter that going on and off could be holding the deer back. We're going to switch to the big camera. So we'll be leaving this here. The other thing is coming in from behind them. Hopefully, we know there's deer there. We haven't been here since before bear hunting, so it's been about six days since we've even deer hunted. So we're gonna get in there now, nice and early. It's gonna be a long walk, so we'll see you in the stand. Hopefully we don't bump anything on the way in.
made it home. Just went through the trail cam. Same story we have had for the last few weeks. Does, 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 and we have two, the last two nights, a giant coyote showed up in the middle of the night. So we'll have to keep our eye on him. Hopefully he'll, he'll just bugger off. The deer don't seem to be affected by him. He comes in, grabs some apples, and then the does are right back an hour later. Still two big does. And then the doe with the two, three fawns. They were there this morning. Probably why they didn't show up tonight. I did notice a, a smaller fawn by itself on camera. So it's just too hot, I think, to get them moving around. We've just got local deer. We got no box at all on camera. I may go hunt the other tree stand in the morning, see if anything's on the ad SD card. But tomorrow we're not vlogging because Xander's birthday. Say hi. Happy birthday hi. tomorrow. Hi, thank you. Yeah, how old are you going to be? 30. You wish. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> so tomorrow I'm going maybe hunt in the morning and then I'm going to spend the evening with Amber. We're going to go for drinks with her friends. Subscribe, follow. I promise this is going to pick up. Steel heading will get better. That was terrible morning of looking at creeks. We're going to make things happen. It's been a slow couple weeks. It's 20 degrees in the middle of October. That explains just about everything, why everything's so tough. So hold in there, we'll get her done. See you soon. Happy birthday, Amber.